Back at home, Hawaii's minimum wage is getting a boost this weekend, and we've been hearing from workers and businesses about the change. Dallas on Tavares joins us live from Kailua with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. Well, I got to tell you first, it's been a beautiful morning in Kailua. We've been to a bunch of different local businesses, and that's what we love. We love to hear what business owners and workers think about the minimum wage increase. And before we get into that topic, we're going to go into something fun over here because it's National Coffee Day tomorrow, which is why we're at Cafe Kopi with our friend Jean and also Ernest as well. Good morning, you two. How's it going? It's been great. What a beautiful morning. It is. And you know, what a great way to celebrate with some delicious coffee. And there's something very unique about Cafe Kobe because it's not like your regular coffee shop they're going to go to. Can you tell us why? Yeah. So, first of all, we are both originally from Singapore. Yeah. And uh, in Singapore, we have a huge coffee culture even before Starbucks, and it's quite different coffee. So, um, this is a usual latte, you know, which we can make into beautiful latte art, and that uses Arabica beans, and okay. that is prevalent in the Western cultures. In Asia, we use robusta beans. So, um, and we make coffee very differently. So Ernest is going to show you how when we pour the coffee, what we do. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the coffee. So you can actually see that it's actually very different. Look at how concentrated it is. And we serve it with evaporated milk, condensed milk, and sugar. But I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the magic of the coffee, which is very different, is okay. that so um, the way we roast coffee right from the beginning is different. So first of all, we start with uh, robusta beans, and we roast it with sugar and butter. So even during the roasting process, caramelization already happens. So the beans is full of a different kind of a taste profile. And then when we serve it with evaporated milk and condensed milk, it becomes this really strong, I bet. It's strong, but yet it is not bitter. It's sweet, it sounds It's like. sweet, it's very creamy. So oh. if you want to uh, think about it, so have a taste, have a taste. Stir it, and you know the magic right is now. you decide how sweet you want to be. You are on a diet, you want a little bit sweet, you could do that. Taste it, it's very different. So Ooh, it's strong, it is. but it is not bitter, it's very aromatic, and there's another layer to it because of the caramelization with the butter and the sugar. It has a good kick to it, and there's delicious pastries to that's pair it up right. with that as well. But you know what, I want to get into what we've been talking about all morning, yeah. and that's the minimum wage. You all have been ahead of the game because even though minimum wage in the state goes from $10.10 to $12 an hour, officially tomorrow, you guys pay your employees up to $17 an hour, and that's been going on for over a year. That's right. And tell us the reason behind that. So, first of all, uh, we both believe in uh, making a good living. Yeah. Uh, people need to live. And I just exactly. moved from Hawaii about two years up to, to Hawaii for two years, and I can't believe how expensive everything is. I don't know how people live. So one of the things that when we first started this business is that we want to be able to give back the community in terms of our jobs and so on. And we understand that people need to leave. So one of the important things for us is we want people to be able to live with a wage that is reasonable. So we started paying team members $15 and baristas $17. And of course, bakers being specialized get paid even more. And uh, what we want to do is to ensure that with this amount of money and with the shift that we are giving them, they are able to pay rent live a good life so we have started doing that and quite honestly when we first started remember it was during the height of pandemic we have no idea whether it's going to help but we have this strong philosophy that if we treat our workers right they are going to give back in terms of their time their effort their best energy and then the community is going to feel it they're going to keep coming back that's how we plan to stay afloat, and I think we've been doing pretty okay so far. It's a full cycle, you know, when That's you right. value your employees, mm -hmm. it comes out in their performance, and like you said, the customers value that. I mean, it's been busy so far throughout the morning. You've had a lot of people come through. Thank you. We've been hearing, though, people have to change their prices, so has there been a price increase at the start when you started to pay your employees 15 or even 17 dollars an hour or things have pretty much been the same the prices has always been the same okay. we have not actually adjusted very much but we are looking into the other way around how do we cut down costs so for example if this is a cool morning and it's been raining guess what we turn off the ac so what happens is hawaii is beautiful for the weather and it helps the earth 
Plus, by doing that, we cut down electrical bills. So we try to cut costs whenever we can instead of um, increasing prices. Wow. You know, that's a really great way to look at it because it's such a bigger picture. There's so many factors when it comes to running a business. So when you're able to balance it out and make your employees feel good about what they do, as well as teaching them this new, different craft of coffee making, that's really special. Thank so you. So thank you so much, Jean. We want to learn more about Cafe Kopi, and if you would like to learn more about their business, you can visit our website at khwin2.com and also see all the different interviews that we covered, whether at Tomoki's Bread and Breakfast or at Cinnamon, Cinnamon's Restaurant. Um, so much great information was shared this morning. Thank, thank you, you all so much. much. Thank, you, thank you. And the thank coffee's you, delicious, by the way. Thank you. Mm, reporting from Kailua, Dallas and Averroes, K22 News, working for Hawaii. <laughs> I like wow. to see that management, they take care of their employees and they're paying above the minimum wage. Yeah, instead of thinking of raising prices like a lot of restaurants have been doing, understandably, mm -hmm. um, they're trying to think of how they can cut, cut costs. Yeah. Turn off the AC when there's trade winds. All right, coming up next in our Food to Go segment, we are checking out a puka in the food scene on Hawaii Island. We'll have an interview with the Puka Puka.